Hey there, Chris here from IELTS Advantage. And in this lesson, we're going to look at a student question, which is, I want to know how a person can improve their grammar. Um, a lot of you want to know how you can improve your grammar. And the good news is there are some very simple steps that you can take to improve your grammar. Um, so we're going to show you just a step-by-step -step system that any student can uh, use to improve their grammar. So step one is identify your weaknesses. So there are many areas of grammar. You could need help with punctuation or conditionals or tenses or articles or subject verb agreement or countable uncountable nouns or anything. So there's no point in going and learning every area of grammar. Most students have a issue with one, two, or maybe even three areas of grammar and I would identify your main weakness and focus on your main weakness first. So for example, let's say everything's great with your grammar except your articles. A lot of students have a problem in that area or a problem with punctuation and that's going to cause problems in the writing test. So identify what your specific problems are. Now you can do that by you know with your teacher and um, or if you know a native English speaker or someone who's you know a, a very high level um, English learner they can help you with that by just sharing your writing with them. Um, any good teacher will be able to look at your essay and within a couple of minutes identify what your key issues are. After you've done that, step number two, learn the rules. Grammar is basically just rules. Um, it is the rules of English, the law of English. So the first step is to learn those rules. If you do not know the rules surrounding that area of grammar, you'll never be able to use that grammar. So step two, learn the rules. The good news is they're freely available online. Um, the British Council has a great uh, part of their website that is dedicated to grammar. And there are a lot of other websites out there, just free information. Just Google rules of definite article or indefinite article or prepositions or whatever you need. Um, there are rules available. You just have to go and find it. Then after you've learned the rules, you need to practice them. Anyone who has studied law or studied grammar or studied any sort of rule-based system, uh, you can't just look at them and instantly be able to remember them unless you've got like a photographic memory. In order to get them into your head and to remember them, you'll have to practice those rules. Again, Google is your friend here. Google like article practice activities or punctuation practice activities or preposition practice activities. There are thousands of activities freely online that you can go and use. Step four, once you practice them, you need to produce sentences. So there's no point in learning these rules and doing practice questions, but then not being able to use them in real life or in the speaking test or the writing test, whatever it is you need to do. So you need to produce sentences. If you're doing the, the IELTS test, you will be practicing your speaking. You will be practicing your writing. So when you're doing that, be conscious of that area of grammar and then be looking at that when you're producing sentences. You can record yourself speaking or obviously you have a record of your writing. Then get feedback, all right? So you are, have learned the rules, you have practiced those rules, you're producing sentences, now you need to get feedback on that. And again, that can come from a teacher, a friend who's really good at English, um, or uh, a native English speaker if you know them, to get feedback on whether you are using it correctly or not using it correctly. And then learn from that feedback and just you know, sharpen things up and learn from, uh, learn from your mistakes and you will improve any area of grammar. And that system is basically can be used not just for grammar, but for any area of IELTS. So identify your weakness. What do you need help with? Learn what to do. Do that thing. Get feedback on that thing. And then what's your next weak weakness? Learn how to do that. Do that thing. Get feedback on it. What's your ne next weakness? Just go, like you can use that literally for any area of IELTS. It's not complicated and it's very, very effective. Hopefully that was useful. Let me know your feedback in the comments and see you again soon. Bye-bye.